another trip to Guitar Center today for um, packing material. I needed to ship an amp, so um, grabbed three bags and got a bunch of packing material. Good stuff too. This is um, this is the stuff you want really for amps. This foam. That's like the best stuff. You can line it all around the amps, and I've got enough in there probably to ship the amp and then some. Uh, so that's cool. Um, got a bunch of other packing material as well, uh, but I'll go through the um, stuff that uh, pulled out and just, I mean, a lot of this is still garbage, but if, you know, if you have an Ibanez though and you want your paperwork, there's where it ended up. Uh, there's a box for a pedal. That's a way huge pedal. Aquapus with all the stuff and usually on these boxes um, I'll keep this because if I get an aquapus pedal um, I'll put it back in an original box and sell it that way because they're nice to have cool very cool tongue sole sticker I didn't know they made these I'm definitely keeping that um, there's a pog box with the paperwork so same story I'll keep that just for the hell of it um, here, I don't know why they would get rid of this. It's not there's nothing even electronically or anything to go bad with this. Um, you know what that is? Probably that's a humidifier for an acoustic. You just drop your water down in there, and it soaks up in the sponge. You set this between the strings, and it humidifies your guitar while it's in the case. But I mean, that's perfect working order. I mean, there's nothing mechanical going on there. Um, I always like to find these for the pegs find six of them you got a full set of pegs um, I always grab these because I like the Epiphone stickers so I keep those the here's the obligatory brand new cable of course you find one of those every time you get a go for boxes um, more of that stuff another sticker but this was interesting these are the strap locks that come with uh, with an Epiphone guitar I guess they're starting to do that sorry I'm trying to get this thing to focus focused on it I don't guess it's gonna focus anyway these are the uh, like shower or excuse me Dunlop style I guess that's Dunlop style or is that shout no that's Dunlop style um, Epiphone written on there strap locks I guess they're starting to do that with their guitars but somebody just tossed them out real smart I, I guess the others are the other end is probably attached to the guitar somewhere in the store <laughs> so the customer will never see that there's a Yamaha electric acoustic paperwork. You never get your paperwork if you buy it. I mean, you're better off really getting stuff online for that reason, in a way, because you never get your paperwork otherwise. There's all the Fishman paperwork for something, probably an acoustic electric. You never get these either, so you can adjust your own truss rod. Um, more paperwork, more paperwork. I mean, that most of that stuff's going to go right back in the garbage. There's another sticker I'll keep. Cool Dean sticker. So I'll put that with my tongue sole. There's another poster, and I don't need it. Another Epiphone poster. These are a dime a dozen, but I mean, what the hell? Another Epiphone sticker. Uh, and then we get into magazines. Uh, this was a full um, blues magazine with with um, 15 song CD, brand new. There's that acoustic guitar, another acoustic guitar, more acoustic guitar in the plastic, bass player magazine, another same acoustic guitar, another bass player, bass player, acoustic guitar, just magazines out the ass. She's pretty kick ass, I've seen some of her videos. Um, this is cool, collectible guitar magazine. Greg Martin, Kentucky Headhunters. He's from my neck of the woods. Got two copies of that. Okay, here's another one. I've never seen this magazine before. I guess I'm just out of the loop. Distributed by Hal Leonard. Six dollar magazine. Features George Gruen. Premier guitar. Six obscure amps that absolutely destroy. And just judging by a couple of them that I've owned, those do destroy. Never had that one, that one, or that one. So that's that. I don't know what that one in the back is there. I'm not sure. Keyboard amps. Plenty of guitar aficionados. And these aren't cheap magazines either. That's an $8 magazine. 
and I have one, two, three, four perfect copies of it. There's Music Connection. A lot of these obviously will have um, they will have tabs and things in them. There's another Premier guitar. It's kind of cool. Two copies of that. Yep. See, there's one with tabs. We'll play some Motorhead or some Ozzy <clears throat> or Alabama Shakes. Keyboard, more musician, multitasking. Let's see. There's another Guitar World, Dream Theater, Stone Temple Pilots, Lamb of God, Brian Adams, and plus some Rush stuff. See, that's always good. Ukulele Magazine. Free bonus issue inside. Hmm. Bass Gear Magazine. That's kind of cool. $7.50 magazine from the fall of 2015. Here's a box. You wonder why, if you bought an orange ant, you wonder why you didn't get your box. This is why. Because it was in the dumpster. Um, got several power cables. I mean, these are, you can always use these. <laughs> these are off computers, and I, I know that because look what I got. This is a TAC DVD-RW burning station. It's got one bad, obviously bad, broken um, drive up here on top, but these look all perfect. One, two, three. There's a little ant there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't know if this is a standalone thing or not. I mean, this it has something, a little display screen. And the model number on it is, let's see, it's got a model number, DVW-D17-160. I mean, I'm not going to let that go to the dumpster. Why the hell would I do that? Let's see what it's got in the back. Some power supply. And nothing much else on the back. So I'm thinking this might be a standalone unit. How cool would that be if that thing works? I'm going to test it out just for the hay of it. Um, also got, look at this, they were throwing away a whole point of, I didn't even get all this stuff. They had huge uh, copy machines and everything else in there today. But I pulled this out because I, I have no idea if these, if you can resell these or reprogram these or what. But this is one of the card sliders, card readers. They're probably moving to the new chip and pin and that's why they threw this out. So it's probably worthless, but I just grabbed it for the hell of it. Um, this monitor, it's got some scratches or just gunk, but it looks like it might still work. I mean, it's just, I might be able to just plug and play in a computer. If nothing else, I've got the cable right there. I'll unplug that and keep that for sure. But just, yeah, you know, there we go. Another example of just the crazy amount of wastefulness that <clears throat> um, our society kind of generates. I mean, uh, I, I get it if the stuff doesn't work and if you don't know how to fix it. And, you know, throwing away the magazines, you can't keep all those. I get, I get that. I get all the boxes and everything, but the, but the cables. I mean, why would you throw those away? That doesn't make any sense. You can use those on all kinds of different equipment. So anyway, another another trip, another day, another bunch of junk. <laughs>